This is one of my favorite lessons. If you've done other Code.org courses, you might have seen this. It's alien dance party time. I'm excited. I'm not good at dancing. I am good at alienating and hopefully coding. Let's get going. This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Alien dance party. Ooh, it looks new too. All right, look closely at the code below. What will happen after you click run on, you click on the alien. Got it. All right, so let's see here. When run, okay, so I know right away this first block. When we click run, this stuff happens. What happens? Well, we set the background, check to space, and then what? We make a new blank sprite. We make a new something sprite, whatever that is, at 280. So 200x, I think, and if we hover over, you see these tiny little numbers? 200x and 80y, roughly the center. Okay, that makes sense. We put the sprite on the screen, or the character, or the animation. Now, once we get this alien on the screen, then what? Well, let's see. This is separate, so this stuff shouldn't happen automatically, but it looks like an event happened. So when the, I don't know, alien monster, when the alien is clicked, what happens? Well, when the alien's clicked, what will happen? Sprite alien, so this guy, the alien will begin patrolling up and down. Oh, okay, so I would think then, guys, if this runs automatically, this does not. But when we click the alien, the alien, this thing, moves up and down. Nothing, nah. The alien will begin patrolling right and left. Up and, nope. The alien begin moving up and down. Alien will disappear off the screen. Keep in mind, when you hit submit, when you hit run, that actually submits your answer and you can't change it. So really think about these. If you don't understand, go back and listen again. These are important. But uh Boom. <sighs> go, alien, go. Onward. We did it. Nope. Next. The alien was proud of its dancing skills on Mars. Ooh. But now it can only move side to side. Replace the behavior block in the sprite something begins to a different one that will make the alien start spinning. Okay. So now the alien's only moving side to side. Let's hit run and see what they're talking about. So, oh, nothing happens automatically. We create the background. New alien is put right here, 200x, because if I hover, 80y. And now when we click run, something should happen once I know, once I click on the alien. Oh yeah, back and forth. Okay, that all works. What do they want? To a different, replace the behavior block and sprite begins to a different one that will make the alien start spinning. Okay, so here we go. Sprite begins. Patrol, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's look at behaviors. Hmm, shrinking, spinning. Oh, I can pick. I'll do spinning right, I guess. Because did they say which way? Nope. Awesome. Click. Remember, we have to click for it to work. We do an event. Cool. Onward. Let's see what we have. Create another sprite. And don't let these words scare you. They're technical. It just means animation. Animation. A sprite is a 2D graphic used in, well, computer animation and games. What that looks like a different alien. Okay, so we have this one right here. So I'm just going to, hey, I have a good example. Let me head over. I bet it's under sprites. Okay. And oh, yeah, here it is. Let me click and drag. Now let's make sure. Click. Right. And we want it right when it starts. So when run, we'll set a background, create a sprite, create a sprite. We wouldn't want it down here because then the sprite would only appear after it's clicked. After this one's clicked. Okay. So now we have this sprite. Um, ooh, it said I can pick though. Which one do I want? Oh, <gasps> definitely that one. 100% that one. I love that one. All right, and now I'm going to move it. It doesn't say we have to, but yeah, you're going here. Okay, now try using a new move this time. Make it the sprite start any behavior you want when it's clicked. Now, this, we have a behavior for this sprite when clicked. So we don't want to attach something for this guy. We need to head over here. Behaviors. Oh, no, 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 no. Events, right? Because it's when. Notice the green? So when what? Well, this time we don't want that guy. When he when they are clicked, right? When they're clicked, when the alien's clicked, what do we want? Hmm, behavior and sprite. So this again. And now we can pick a new move. I want spin. No, we did spin. Shrinking, sure. Okay. Now, I want you to realize, if I didn't have this here, if I just said, okay, behavior, boom. This doesn't work because it only happens if I click this. 
and that changes. It, they want it to happen when we click on our actual new sprite. Run, click, click, onward. Cool, now we have make a third sprite. We can do this, so we already have two, right? I just made that one. If you don't have a second sprite, go back and do it. So we already have two. I'm gonna move this over here. Make a third. All right, so I know how to do this. I'm gonna head over to sprites, right? Grab this, drop it here, make sure it connects. And again, we're gonna put it all attached to win run. Because when we hit run, we want our background and our sprites to appear. If I attach it down here, the reason I'm doing that is then I hit run. Where is it? It's a problem, right? It would only appear if I click on him. So that's not what we want. We need it up here. Okay, and I'll leave this one right there. Make the third sprite. Oh, wait, I'm going to pick best part. Ooh, that. <laughs> All right, make the third sprite and have it begin a new behavior when clicked. So not when these ones are clicked, right? We want to make sure we have a new event when my doji yellow. So when this alien is clicked, behavior sprite. Nope, not stops. I do that all the time. Always make sure to grab begins. It can get really frustrating. All right. Boop. And behavior. Uh, let's do growing maybe. One shrinking, one's growing. And click, click, click. Make sure though you have your own event because otherwise if I attach this down here, when I click on this alien, both of those would start onward let's try using a different kind of event this event is triggered when you press an arrow key when up is pressed for this event make it so that when a key is pressed one of your aliens changes colors oh that sounds cool all right so this event let's try a different kind of event all right so we're not adding a sprite and if you don't have this stuff make sure you go back and do the other parts of this lesson we're adding an event so i'm going to head over here to event and when up keep in mind guys events are all green stuff right so what happens when i hit run this stuff gets created right now it shows it now but really it's what should happen when run is hit background alien alien aliens mate now this stuff is events so when i click on this alien then something happens the event is me clicking on the alien this block is same idea this doesn't run automatically, it's an event. And what happens? Well, when up is pressed, when I hit it here or on my keyboard, then this runs. It's an event, something has to happen. For this event, make it so that when the key is pressed, one alien changes a color. Okay, so now yeah, I would assume that's under sprites. Yep, change color of, oh cool, change color. I want to do my friend the yellow guy. Ooh, not to red though. Oh, green. Oh, that's not. Green. There we are. Let's try. Run. And remember, these events still work, but I can also now hit up. <gasps> Green! Roar! <laughs> awesome. Onward. These aliens are running wild. Let's calm them down. Add an event that makes each alien stop moving after five seconds using stop everything. Okay, so they're trying to help us out right now. Event. Let's hit run and see what's going on here. Okay, background gets set, we make the aliens, oh yeah, and then automatically this one jitters, cool, this one patrols, and that one wanders. So we need them to stop. It says add an event, so let me do event, and now it says the event will be a timer. So, okay, seconds, and keep in mind, this runs automatically. An event is, well, if I click on it, that's an event, and the code attached to the click would run. A timer of three seconds, or five, once that event occurs, any code attached, runs. It looks like it's blue, so sprites, and it's a stomp everything. Each alien. Oh, wow. Oh, it's blue, but it's in here. And then we just got to make sure we select the right guy, our right sprites. We got a blue. We got that one. Let's hit run and see. And now, we're, oh, thro oh, there's a timer. Bring! I'm adding sound effects. Ooh, they all stopped. Onward. See, events can be timers, they can be clicks, they can be up arrow keys. It's just something that happens. It's not right when the program runs. On work. Fun is contagious. Use when alien touches to make one alien bigger or stop a behavior when the other alien touches. Notice it's green because this doesn't happen automatically. This is going to be another uh, mint. So this stuff, like we've been saying, set background, make new, have these sprites start moving. That's all automatic. We now have a timer that we added last one, last puzzle. Every five seconds, everything stops. But now we need a make one alien begin or stop a behavior 
when another one touches it. Okay. Event. When. Sure. That touches that. Begin or stop. So I'm going to head over to behavior. And I'm going to say begins. Just go ahead and say. What's that one doing? Jittering. I'm going to have it begin spinning right too. But let's say when. Which ones do we got? That touches pink. We'll have pink. <laughs> cool. And that's another event. It's something that occurs not when we hit run, but afterwards, due to circumstance. Ooh, this is the best part. Now create your own alien disco. Look for information. I'm totally going to do these. Create another alien that does another move when it is clicked. Okay, I'll start with that. So let's go to sprites and do... And I'm going to move this over here so we can see it. Um, oh, maybe not. Make aliens do more dance moves when they touch one another. Okay, we can do that as well. Oh, I have code way down here. All right. So first, I'm going to add this guy. And I want a purple. And I'm going to move him. Yeah, sure, why not? And then, um, and make it do another move when clicked. When clicked. Okay, so we need an event because we're pros at this, and the event will be when I'll move this out of my way again. When I'm gonna use my new guy. Now I'll stick with blue. When blue is clicked, behavior blue begins growing. Okay, so when I click on blue, blue begins growing. And the other thing, make aliens do more dance moves when they touch each other. Alright, so we already have this thing. So let's do another event. When blue touches pink. So I already did something with blue. So what about yellow, pink? So I'm going to do purple touches pink. So when purple touches pink. And I can pick. Make sure you do begins and not stops. I always get that mixed up sometimes. And now let's do a patrol. Okay. And I can do more of these that up here uh when who doesn't have one oh let's give yellow something when blue touches purple so now yellow is not even involved but they're gonna have some control yellow oop wrong yellow jittering huh <laughs> look at all this we are coding masters let's see my dance party i hope you make something creative and different than mine right come up with your own stuff these are my ideas <laughs> oh, do they never? Okay, so my blue's not growing. It's going to... Oh, suddenly me. I need to look, look at what I coded. I love it. Finished. Onward.